The perfect workspace is safe, happy, healthy, and productive. With COVID-19 raging all across the country, keeping up with the daily changing guidelines can feel pretty overwhelming, but that doesn't have to be the case. Let's take a look at what you can do. We'll start by examining what a socially distant workspace looks like. First up is office density. The layout of your office should encourage social distancing while still being productive and comfortable. Chances are, it'll only take a few small adjustments in order to help keep your team safe. Ideally, individual workstations should be six feet apart to encourage social distancing. However, when this isn't possible, increasing the panel height between workstations can add a nice safe barrier between users. This can often be achieved just by adding a topper to your panels. A glass topper is ideal, as it will allow you to continue to have a nice open, bright feel to your space without sacrificing safety. It's also worth reconsidering how much storage each workstation has. With the increased need to clean work surfaces multiple times a day, every workstation should have cleaning supplies at hand. For conference rooms and collaborative spaces, it's time to get creative. Flexible and movable furniture is a great solution. Flexible furniture will allow you to reconfigure your space so that you can always remain socially distant, but still be productive. One example of flexible furniture is the to-do line by Hayward, which we actually use in our own boardroom. A couple quick points about booking in-person meetings these days. When your team is booking a collaborative space for an in-person meeting, encourage them to leave buffer time around the meeting slot so that they are able to clean the entire workspace. Getting out of cramped meeting rooms altogether by holding standing or walking meetings is another great solution. Encourage your team to book meetings in open, beautiful areas, or even outdoors. Not only are these meetings quick and productive, but they make it much easier to stay socially distant. Virtual meetings are another great way to stay connected when you can't all be in the same space. There's a ton of great video conferencing solutions available at all kinds of prices and company sizes. You can check out our article on the topic in the description below. Okay, so now that you've got your space prepped and ready to roll, it's time to talk about the people who will be using that space. Next up is getting your team using COVID-19 best practices. I'm sure that you've heard this list of guidelines repeated over and over again. Wear a mask, keep a visitor log, sanitize everything, use video conferencing solutions for large meetings, and if you're feeling ill, stay home. We're filming this video in Halifax, Nova Scotia, where provincial guidelines encourage the use of non-medical masks anytime you're in a public space. While your office may count as a private rather than public space, it's still important to encourage your team to wear masks whenever they don't think they'll be able to maintain social distancing. Sanitation is gonna be a large part of your routine for the foreseeable future. This could include personal sanitation, like frequent hand washing, space sanitation, like wiping down meeting rooms after a team meeting, or team cleaning sessions, where everybody wipes down their own individual workstation multiple times a day. If you're open to the public, not only is sanitation going to be that much more important, but you should also consider a standard process for welcoming guests. Consider using a visitor log and storing all this contact information for future reference. Most importantly though, if you or an employee is feeling ill, please stay at home and contact your local health authorities for up-to-date information and your next steps. This is one situation where it's certainly better to be safe than it is to be sorry. We will get through this together and come out the other side stronger than ever before.